In case you miss it, here's a sports animal rewind. New Sentinel Sports page brought to you by Image Matters on the Sports Animal, sportsanimal99.com on your WNML mobile app and on iHeartRadio. We are pleased to be joined by a huge sports fan, but more importantly, a super talented actor and comedian. The DVD, the Blu-ray, also direct TV of his movie, A Haunted House, out and available for you. Marlon Wayans joins us right now here on the New Sentinel Sports page. Hey, Marlon, Vince Ferrar here in Knoxville. How you doing, Marlon? I'm good, man. How you doing? We're good. Hey, we're Appreciate the time. Have you ever been in your travels to Knoxville, Tennessee at all? I haven't, but you know what? I'm going to put that on the map and uh, on the schedule, and I'm going to come up there. I'm going to do Knoxville, and I'll probably do uh, Nashville. Well, I know you're friends with a lot of pro athletes, and Tennessee has a lot of guys in the NFL, a couple in the NBA, C.J. Watson, a couple other guys, C.J. up there at Brooklyn. Boy, a Tennessee football game. Put that on your bucket list when you make it down here. I definitely got to go to that. All right. that, that always looked like a blast to me. Yeah, hundred plus thousand in uh, in the stands will be fun. I want to go there, and I want to go to a, a, a female college basketball game. Yes, the Lady Vols. That's right. Maybe pack the house yeah, too. Yeah, Lady Vols. <laughs> well, speaking of basketball, real quick, I know you're a huge Knicks fan. You feel like the Knicks can beat the Heat, or are you sweating that a little bit for the NBA title? You know, I, I think right now LeBron just got that. He got that that glow. Mm-hmm. You ever seen the Last Dragon? You got the glow. <laughs> that's all. Feel you feel the glow. That's LeBron James right now. He glows, and I think it's going to be hard for anybody to beat that that dude right now Wait. with that team. So, uh, but it's going to be a hell of a series. And your guy, Melo's Melo's starting to glow. But his short circuit sometimes. <laughs> That's right. We're visiting with Marlon Wayans, who is a part of a haunted house, and which is a spoof. You've done a number of them. They're hilarious. Well, what's it been like to do those spoofs? Um, you know, it. I, I love doing them because I just think that they're um, they're so challenging. Mm-hmm. You know, to do parodies and one of the, uh, parody and sketch are the two hardest things to me to to write because everything has to be funny. And um, so I love the challenge of it. And I think finding fun characters and, and funny ways to make fun of, uh, of what's in pop culture is, is you know, to, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a joy. And it's it actually working your, uh, your, your quick your, your fibers in your mind, the, 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 the quick muscles, the quick twitch muscles. Like, okay, what's funny right now? <laughs> Marlon Wayans joining us right now on the new Sentinel Sports page. He plays Malcolm in Stars with Essence Atkins and also Cedric the Entertainer in a haunted house. It's out on a DVD, Blu-ray, and DirecTV. So for people that haven't seen a haunted house, tell people about that, Marlon. Um, basically, haunted house is paranormal activity if it happened to a black couple. And, um, you know, we've seen white people in horror movies over and over again and uh, how they respond. And it's just a good time to sit there and watch how black people respond in, in one of these movies. <laughs> and uh, normally you go to a movie theater and there's some black woman screaming, don't go in there! Don't go in there! Well, this time we don't go in there. Oh, that's awesome. I've seen the trailer for it and definitely will pick that up on DVD. Now, people know you for your comedies, your acting in those comedies, but also you've done some stuff outside of comedy. Have you ever thought about making that more full-time, going sort of the Will Smith route outside of comedy and more serious roles? Has that been a consideration or an opportunity um, for you? No, I think I'm I'm just going to do me. You yeah. know, if, if that opportunity comes, great. But in the meantime, you know, that that's... That's Will's thing, you know. I let Will, but he can't. You can't be a better Will Smith than Will Smith is. Yeah. So I gotta try to be the best Marlon Wayans that I could be. If you weren't an actor, comedian, if you weren't doing all of the 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 direct everything that you have done, the ride, book writing, all that, if you weren't doing that, what would you be doing? Do you think? I'd be a really, really funny garbage man. <laughs> no, I'd probably work in a sneaker store. Okay. Yeah, because I used to always work in sneaker stores as a, as a kid. And um, I, I don't know. I, I, look, I know more about the Nike Air Max Soul um, than uh, than a lot of people know. Like, than you probably know about radio history. Like, <laughs> I, I I know the difference between the Air Max. Why you should get the Air, the, the 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 Air Soul on the Nike versus getting the Reebok <laughs> polyurethane Soul, and why the Reebok pump wasn't as good as the Nike Air. Which is true, right? Yeah, and I, I could tell you about lateral support. <laughs> And the lateral bands, and I can tell you about, you know, uh, it's just, it, it's it's really sad. Like, <laughs> I can tell you about pronating and supernating, and I, I worked in five sneaker stores, and man, I, I stole so many shoes that I just know <laughs> shoes. 
<laughs> you know, I, we have that in common. It's probably the only thing we have in common, Marlon, is I worked at Sporty Goods. Did steal shoes? No, no, I'm not stealing the shoes and working and uh, selling those, okay. those sneakers. So let me take you back a little bit. What was it like to work with Tupac back in, uh, above the rim and, and doing that? What, what was that experience like for you? Um, that was a, a great experience, man, because Pac is, uh, um, you know, he was a, a good guy. He wasn't, everybody views him as this hardcore gangster, but he really wasn't. He was just like a funny performing arts, performing arts kid. He wasn't like this thug. He was, a, he, he just committed to that thug character so hard that he actually became one. But Pac was a really smart, uh, really funny guy, you know, and he had, uh, I used to always say he, his hands was too soft to be a gangster. I used to call him the Palmolive thug. <laughs> what would he be like today if he were alive? Would he have sort of the messages and be viewed sort of like Kanye? Or what would he be like and how would he be accepted today, do you think? You know, I don't know. Um, I, I think, um, you know, I think what he is, and he's still a figment in hip hop. And I think, um, you know, he would have been older now. So I think his perspective would have been a little bit uh, different. I don't think he would talk about shooting this and that and uh, you know but Pac was always a guy that could make you feel some some, some kind of way you know he can make the thugs feel like I want to shoot somebody and then or break them down with dear mama and have them cry and go I'm gonna put this gun away because I love my mother so you know Pac was just one of those uh, special guys Interesting. We're busy with Marlon Wayans. Last couple things with you. Marlon Wayans in his DVD, Blu-ray, also on DirecTV, available at Haunted House. Yesterday came out. Marlon, your projects, you have a bunch of stuff coming out now. Super bad. James Dynamite's on the way. Also on the way. You're working on Pretty Ugly and a couple of other things. Talk about some of your upcoming projects. Um, right now, um, I'm, I'm really working on touring with my brother. Mm-hmm. Um, we do stand-up all over the U.S. and uh, we're about to hit Australia. Um, we're going to be at the casino. Uh, we're going to actually be playing Vegas July 27th at Palms Casino. So if you're in Vegas July 27th, make sure you come out and check us out at the theater in the Palms Hotel. And um, I, I'm also going to be in uh, the new Sandra Bullock, Melissa McCarthy movie, The Heat. Um, and for more information on Marlon Wayans, follow me on Twitter at Marlon L. Wayans. Do you ever fight backstage or on the set with your brother? How does that work? Time. <laughs> all the time yeah. but you know what we, we we learn to do this whenever we fight we always go i love you right and that can mean it's always in the beginning or the middle when we disagree all right i love you that's really like a, a f you but i love you <laughs> more people should do that though you won't they won't hold the grudges and have it linger after that. that i love my brother to death yeah marlon we really appreciate it. great to talk to you all right, all right thanks marlon